is up guys so today i'm gonna be showing you guys the old time best brand new unit is julia Woohoo! he is the brand new unit in this update 7.5 and what do you know he is the best out of the best he is currently the best unit in update 7.5 correct me if i'm wrong in the comments fight me in the comments bro so he is currently the best unit in update 7.5 and you will be needing endless tome and you can get this endless tome from trading in this guy to this guy and you will be needing 12 lost chapter and you can get the 12 lost chapter from the legend stage 3 and it was incredibly easy by the way so do not worry you'll actually be able to evolve your julio right out the bat so as you guys can see right here when you evolve Julio, he will be getting plus 20% attack and plus chromo, chrono reversal. And he will be able to actually push back enemies and you guys will see on how and why he is currently the best and overpowered unit and literally better than Lush, man. Alright, Julio Wizard King. Let's go, Julio Wizard King. Huggers. And as you guys can see right there, he has a aura and... A book let's go so he is not a limited unit by the way he is just an ordinary mythic unit and he's not limited so you'll be able to obtain him anytime so which is pretty pretty pog and he is level 100 that is the max level as of update 7.5 and what is he again he is a magic type so we're gonna be bringing wenda and kisoko let's go all right let's go ahead and go to planet mac and showcase you guys this brand new honestly overpower unit and the best trait on this unit is literally unique because you can only spawn in one unit one julio one julius and that is why he is currently the best one and yeah make sure to colossal smash that like button actually just hit that like button slightly don't hurt it too much subscribe turn on your notification bell to get notified whenever a brand new video is up and let's get started with the showcase i'm so excited bro like she, she's gonna be so overpowered, man. All right, let's get started. So he does cost a fortune to upgrade. So I do recommend when you spawn in Julio is to spawn him in mid game because you don't want to lose right off the bat. And let's just turn on our effects and farm our yen first off. Let's go. And we do need to spawn in a unit because it will take us quite a while till we spawn Julius. Oh, so, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and sell Kisoko. So you can only spawn in one Julia if you didn't know. And look at that. And oh my god, Corona reversal. Let's go ahead and use it really quickly. Let's go. Okay, he's using it. Watch. Wait, they're supposed to be <laughs> they're supposed to be walking back. Like you, you know how Lelouch ability where they're all push back but i think we're too strong at the moment so that's why it didn't work but you know what we'll do that later on because i do want to see this corona reversal because it, it will push every enemy's back which is quite overpowered guys so make sure you guys do own this brand new julio wizard king and he's quite easy to evolve so literally one of the easiest to evolve so i would definitely get him if i was you 
And all right, so let's just start with the upgrade. So upgrade one, upgrade zero actually. His base damage is 14,741 with a 6.6 .6 ability cooldown and 21.7 range. All right, next upgrade. Upgrade 1. His new damage is 22,406 with a 6.6 .6 ability cooldown and 21.7 range. Next upgrade will give us 29,482 damage with a 6.6 .6 ability cooldown and 22.7 range. And alright, that's pretty strong. At upgrade 3, he will be getting a brand new ability called Chrono Stasis. And let's test this Chrono Reversal first. Will this uh, get pushed back? Oh, he won't get pushed back. Oh, that's interesting. Oh my god. All right. But as you guys can see right there, I think we're just too strong that I can't show you guys on how it does push back. So that's so sad. That's unfortunate. But all right. At upgrade 3, he will get a brand new ability called Corona Stasis. All right. Let's take a look at this. And it's an even bigger range. And he is a ground unit, by the way, ground magic unit. And that's pretty cool. Look at that. Whoa. Okay. So his damage stays the same with a 6.1 seconds ability cooldown and 23.8 range. And at upgrade 4, he will be getting his new damage actually. actually. His new damage is 37,737 with a 6.1 seconds ability cooldown and 23.8 range. Pretty cool. Alright, he does cost a fortune, so we need as much money as we need right now. Alright, upgrade 5. Let's go. Oh, look at that. 47,171 damage with a 6.1 seconds ability cooldown and 24.8 range. And when we get him at upgrade 6, he will be getting a brand new ability called Chronostasis Acceleration. And we do need money. <laughs> this is the problem. He does cost quite a lot and we need tons of money, bro. Like, come on, dude. Come on, bro. Give us moolah. All right. Let's go. And look at that, bro. That, that is an even bigger range. I did say at the start that getting yourself unique trait on Julio is gonna be the most overpowered thing. Like, you won't even need help from other people once you have Julio Wizard King unique trait. So, trust me on this one, guys. All right. <laughs> so, his new damage, if I have not said, 58,164 with a 7.5 seconds ability cooldown and 24.8 range. Pretty cool. Alright, next upgrade will give us... Oh my god, that's not even the max. Well, <laughs> what the freak? 76,653 damage with a 7.5 seconds ability cooldown and 25.3 range. And let's go use this Corona Reversal once again. And I see that anyone who steps in this AoE, in this range, in the in his yeah, in his range, just instantly die from, from the look of that, which is... Quite overpower. None of the older units is able to do that. Like, especially with that damage. Like, bro, he does not have any trait and he does that much damage. All right, at max upgrade. Oh, wait, that was not max upgrade. What the freak? Wait, yo, he's literally doing more damage than my unique Natsu. Now, nah, this is just broken, bro. Fix this anime adventures. Uh, anyway, oh my god, what the heck? That's so much damage. 900. Actually, 94,342 damage with a 7.5 seconds ability cooldown and 25.3 range. And he is, it is at upgrade 8. And when you get him to upgrade 9, oh my god, it is literally stronger than my unique Natsu. I wish I brought my unique Natsu for you guys to see on how it's literally stronger than my unique Natsu. It's just honestly insane. But I do see that Julio is quite expensive to upgrade. So, bro, okay, so max upgrade. 117,928 with a 7.5 seconds ability cooldown and 25.8 range. What the heck, man? That is honestly overpower. And he is a burst type unit, so it's not your usual multi-hit unit. But honestly, I'm okay with that. Because, like, look, at, look how overpowered this is already, bro. Like, what the heck? So yeah, you can only place one, as I've mentioned. Alright, let's get started with placing the buff. Alright, so 111... Actually, I can't even read. 117,928. And with Sakura buff, it's gonna be... Ooh, 129,721. What the frick, bruh? <laughs> what the heck, dude? Alright, now let's go and apply Kisoko's buff. 
All right, let's do that. Okay, so 7.5 seconds ability cooldown and 25.8 range. It's gonna be 6.8 seconds and 31 range. What the heck? I do want to say that Wendy buff do work on these unit on the magic type units because Wendy can only buff units that are magic types and Orwin can only buff that are physical types. So it even though it doesn't show an indication of them being buffed, but they're still being buffed as you guys can see right there plus 30% and you can see like a little GFX of them being buffed still so 30% of Julio what the frick that's a lot of damage bro like 10% of 129,000 is literally 12,900 so 12, 9, what 12,900 times 3 and then plus that onto this total damage is honestly world breaking and especially that you can place five of wenda too i mean three of wenda and you can buff them one by one and then once that buff runs out you're gonna buff another one which again super overpower so i definitely recommend getting yourself a julio wizard king because he is the most easiest way like literally the most easiest unit to get and grind for like broski so make sure to get your hands on julio because he is literally overpowered like, bro, what are you doing right now? As you watch this video, go get yourself a Julio Wizard King. And watch my other videos too. <laughs> anyway, guys. So that is pretty much it for today's anime adventure showcase on this brand new Julio Wizard King unit. On this brand new update 7.5. And yeah, so make sure to colossal smash that like button. Subscribe. Turn on your notification bell to get notified whenever a brand new video is out. Consider yourself becoming a YouTube member of this channel to support me even further than ever before. And I will see you later. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Pog, Poggy Pog, Poggers, Pog Gang. If you have watched at the end of the video, comment down below Pog. Pog, 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 Poggy Pog, 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 Pog.